Hey guys, it's me, Kezia Noble, leading female dating and attraction expert for men. Today in this video, we're going to be looking at how important it is for a woman to respect you. If a woman doesn't respect you, she can't be attracted to you. I'm going to show you some really effective ways to get that respect from a woman. And as usual, I'm going to give you an honest insight into how female desire works. A woman is unable to be attracted to a man that she doesn't respect. There's only one exception to this rule, and I will go through it later on in this video. But apart from that one exception, respect must be established before any kind of attraction or desire takes place. I'm going to explain why this is, and I'm going to share with you five effective ways that will help you to establish respect with a woman as soon as possible. Now, the majority of what I teach our students on our programs is focused around how female desire works what women are attracted to and how to respond to certain behaviors, certain words and actions. Now, this is particularly important for this topic as men often view female desire through the lens of male desire and how that operates, which is very different to how female desire operates. This is why, for instance, when it comes to seduction, men often make the mistake of focusing more heavily on logical persuasion and tapping into a woman's rational buying motives rather than her emotional buying motives. Men don't need to respect a woman to be attracted to her. Yes, it can heighten attraction and it's very important if they're looking for a long-term partner, but they can still be physically attracted to a woman that they don't respect. However, a woman is physically unable to be attracted to a guy if she doesn't feel respect for him. It's like there's a block there, can't go any further. Now, I did say at the beginning of this video that there is one exception, and that exception is young men seeking out older women, MILFs, cougars, whatever you want to call them. Those kind of women are operating more from a male desire frame of mind. They want young men for their charm, their looks, and their stamina. They don't care if that guy is riddled with self-confidence issues, if he just someone that they can't respect, someone that hasn't done well in life, someone that can't hold an opinion very well, just isn't very intellectual, whatever it is, just not important to those women. They are looking for three other qualities. That's all they're looking for with those kind of guys. But unless you're in that very small category, looking for those kind of women, then here are some simple and effective ways that will help you to establish that respect. Number one, go into all your interactions with a chooser mindset, or if you will, a selector mindset rather than a please pick me mindset. It's important for the woman to feel that you have boxes that need to be ticked, you have standards that need to be met, and expectations and ideals that need to be fulfilled. Go into the interaction looking to be impressed as well as impressing, but have a clear idea of red flags and turnoffs as well as what you find appealing in women. Women have a list of what they want and what they don't want and often have high expectations and this immediately gives them the upper hand. They have the advantage before you've even said a single word to them and that's because they're in selector mindset and that is a more formidable mindset that you're coming in with. So at the very least, to equalize the power dynamic, you need to enter the interactions equipped with the same lists and expectations of what you want in a woman as she has of what she wants in a man. Two, punish bad behavior and reward good behavior. A very simple way of achieving this is by using both negative and positive validation. If a woman does something that you find pleasing or attractive, such as showing kindness or empathy, or maybe something more superficial, like for instance, the outfit she's chosen has something about it that makes her more classy than other women, or maybe even something very innocuous, such as showing that extra little bit of respect to the waiter. Tell her you like the fact that she did that, but also follow up with something that's going to show her, communicate to her that she's kind of ticked a box. She's kind of made the grade that other women haven't. So the waiter, for instance, so she's polite to the waiter or she's just showing that extra level of respect to the person that's serving you guys. You know, she's not clicking her fingers and being rude and dismissive to them. She just takes that little bit of time to smile and just be polite. And something as simple as that, you can just say, I like the fact you did that. 
women who are rude to the staff, women who are rude to the waiting staff, I just think it shows a lack of class. Just simple like that. You're making, you're showing her that you have expectations. It's just a very subtle way to communicate it by using the reward for good behavior. Equally, if she does something that you find unappealing, you punish that by showing disappointment. You don't sulk or get angry, okay, because that shows you're not in control of your emotions and then the woman just won't respect you very much. You just show her that, you know, she's fallen from grace. Uh, she wasn't quite what you were expecting. Oh, Shane, what a pity. Um, yeah, I thought you were this kind of person rather than that kind of person. This is a great way to reinforce the first point, which is that you have standards and expectations that need to be met. Standards that go beyond a very short list of just having a pretty face and being compliant. A short list like most guys have. But not only that, this is a great way to reinforce the first point, which is that you have standards and expectations that need to be met. Standards that go beyond a very short list of just having a pretty face and being compliant. A short list like most guys have. But not only that, this also keeps her on her toes. It stops her from growing complacent. Next, distinguish yourself from the other men who she considers to be losers. Now think about what most women consider to be losers. Men who don't go for what they want. Men in playing not to lose mode rather than playing to win mode. Men who are apologetic. Men who are nervous. Men who think most women are out of their league. Now there's a lot there, but the quickest way to separate yourself from these guys is to verbalize it. Tell her, for example, you don't do dating apps even if you do. And say very casually, you know, I don't get it. Like, I think the guys who are using it are either lazy or they just don't have the confidence to go for what they want. They don't have the confidence to approach a beautiful woman. Now, you have to make sure that you're not saying this like you're attacking those guys or you want to give her some lecture, okay? You don't want to, you can't show that you've got an emotional attachment to this issue. It's just something you've observed. You're saying to her, essentially, these guys don't have the confidence to go for what they want, the self-belief, they're lazy. It's just loserish kind of thing. So it's not the fact that people who are using dating apps are losers, but what you're doing is identifying potentially loser traits within that category and separating yourself from them. Now, most of the guys that she's come across will have been using dating apps. Again, it doesn't mean they're all losers, but now she's kind of thinking, mm, yes, they probably are on those apps for that reason. And immediately it's just, okay, this guy is a little bit more interesting. He's doing it the kind of old school way. And yeah, it's like, he's going for what he wants. And women find that very attractive. Next, sexual boldness can increase a woman's level of respect for you. Can be an operative word because it has to be done properly, this one. Don't be nervous about telling her what your turn-ons are. Be totally unapologetic for them. The moment she senses uncertainty or shame, when it comes to expressing your desire is the moment she loses respect. So you need to be consistent with this one. If for say you tell her you love women who are more dominant in bed or even dominatrix. Yeah, I'm going to go for the jugular with this one, something out there. And then she responds with, Ooh, mm, that's a bit weird. Something that, you know, you don't want to hear. Then you need to own it. You need to take it up a notch and you need to not backpedal. For goodness sake, do not backpedal. You have to flip it on her and say, yeah, you're too conservative for me. Or, you know, you're just it probably like conventional sex. Ugh, conventional sex is so yawn. Something which is playful, turning the dynamics into a kind of like more playful vibe. That's important. You don't want to get on this like argument about, you know, your sexual preferences or anything like that. But you also want to make it very clear to her that this is you. This is what you're into and you don't feel any shame attached to it. That's really important. Zero shame. In fact, you own it. You like this. This is your thing. And uh, if she likes conventional sex, ugh, maybe she's not for you anyhow. It's just so important that you show that you are not affected by what she said. Like she hasn't hurt you in any way. Again, that really establishes respect because if a woman suspects that she can hurt, she has the power to hurt a man who she's only just met, 
or she barely knows, that makes him weak. It's like, hold on, this is this is a man. He needs to be in control of his emotions. I know that's an unfair burden on men um, because, you know, of course, men feel emotions like women. But unfortunately, this is just how it is. So if a man offends a woman and she gets upset and sad about it, it doesn't make him feel any less attracted to her. But for a woman, it does. Again, I'm just giving you an honest insight into how female desire works. It's not about what's wrong or what's right. I don't want to go down that whole road of men need to express their emotions more. That's a whole different category, a whole different subject. This is just about how female desire works and how women respond to certain reactions in men. So the key is to be playful with this part. Remember, if the interaction heads in a more serious direction, you need to redirect it to something more playful. Being in control of the direction, the tone, and the vibe of the interaction is another way of gaining her respect. Now, if you have a little experience of women, then I do understand that some of these gestures and statements are going to sound too bold. It's like, these are just, these are too big. I can't do these, you might be thinking. But you need to be bold. That's the secret. If you do want to establish respect, then you have to have a certain measure of boldness. And that's what I want to talk about next. Giving zero fucks. Learning to feel comfortable with that. It's super attractive to women when a man gives zero fucks about other people's opinions of him. And that attraction is doubled when a man communicates and demonstrates that they give zero fucks about others' opinion when it comes to their sexual turn-ons. It's important to mention here that the level of boldness does need to be aligned with your personality and values. So if, for instance, you're naturally more on the extroverted end of the spectrum, then you'll find you can turn up that boldness a lot more than you currently are. But if you're more shy or more conservative, then you'll find just becoming slightly more bold, just pushing the envelope a little bit when it comes to what you say and your actions will help to establish a woman's respect for you, providing you are committed and consistent with this. No backpedaling, no apologizing. This is your reality. These are your values, your opinions, and you are not going to bend them in accordance with hers. That there is why she'll have no choice but to respect you. We have a lot of students who come in our seven day mastery program who at the beginning just can't imagine that they'd ever get away with doing stuff like this. They think, I could never be that bold, Kezia. I can do a bit of it, but I can't, I can't go to that point. And by day two, day three, when they have that leap of faith and they've started, you know, really understanding how this all works, they feel emboldened. They actually feel it. And they feel that these things that they thought were very bold and very out there at the beginning aren't so difficult. You know, they built them up in their head because they were so focused on what if I get that kind of reaction? But what I do, and I love doing this, by the way, this part of my job is one of my favorite parts, is I like to look at all the possibilities, every kind of reaction a woman can give and finding the best response to those reactions and best reactions to those responses. So you need to always go in prepared and be prepared for the unexpected. Not just sort of go, oh, I'll wing it if it happens. Some guys can do that, they're naturals. But if you're not used to talking to women and you could fall to pieces if she says something that you weren't expecting that maybe it was a bit harsh, it was a bit bitchy, then you need to be prepared. You need to find that clever line, that clever response, which switches everything around, which turns everything around from a negative to a positive. That's a really important part of game, is taking the worst case scenario and make it into the best outcome possible. So establishing that respect, a lot of our students said it felt like it was the missing piece of the jigsaw. And the ones who have very little experience, such as maybe you, you don't have a lot of experience of women who find this stuff quite daunting, just little gradual steps can help. Just making some bold moves here and there until you're comfortable with, with that amount and then not getting too comfortable and just like adding to it. Okay. Just doing things a little bit more bold, a little bit more. You need to go out there and you need 
to experience the losses as well as the victories, okay? This is what's going to make you better women. That's what's going to give you the experience. If you're just scared and you're worried about reactions and responses all the time, then you'll never ever make progress. What you need to do in order to get respect and to feel more comfortable with being so, so bold is you need to change your default settings. You need to go from playing not to lose, being overly cautious to playing to win. And you can't do that until you've really built up the reference points. You can use positive self-talk for sure, but it's just not gonna give you that authentic confidence that you get from actually getting results. And it becomes a positive feedback loop. The more results you get, the more confident you feel, the more confident you feel, the more results you get. Okay, thank you for watching this video. If you wanna start getting real results with women, then find out more about my seven day mastery program and acceleration home training program. The seven day mastery program is held in London all year, but we do hold it in Las Vegas once a year. And we do that for three weeks and those will always be sold out. But if you're in England or Europe, get yourself to London, get yourself here and experience seven days of personalized one-on-one -on -one coaching from myself and my incredibly experienced team of experts and coaches. Go to the website kezia-noble.com. You'll find out more information about my products, including my best-selling book, The Noble Art of Seducing Women. Again, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please remember to give it a thumbs up and I hope to see you soon on one of our live events. Take care.